Should I do my webinar live or automated? So, so many factors. Should you go live or should you go automated? Automated is the best way for like ongoing effortless income because you just automate it and you just focus on sending traffic to an automated webinar. It's just automated for you. But going live initially allows you to test to see if that webinar actually works. Allows you to test it like right away, really fast. Because you can get like 50 people in a room and if nobody buys, well then you shouldn't go and automate that. You shouldn't put all the work into automating because 50 people didn't even, or nobody bought from your 50 people in the audience in the first place. But if you didn't do it live to test it and you went and built it out automated, you, built, you put in all this work to automate and it might not sell. So it's important to do it live if you can, get enough people in there live if you can, and see if it sells. If it doesn't sell live, it probably won't sell that well automated. And vice versa, like if it sells automated, it'll sell well live. So I've done both. I've started live. I've done a live webinar once and automated it. And then I've also done an automated version, made a sale, and then went live with it. But you ide ideally, you want to do both. You really do want to do both. You want to be able to go live and make a lot of sales in a very short period of time. And you also want to be able to go automated so that you can have consistent sales coming in all the time. So they're both very important. If you have really crappy Wi-Fi and like you're traveling, you're in Bali or something like some of our students are, I don't recommend they go live because they don't have good Wi-Fi for it. So you, they have to automate and sell like that until they get time for, for, for the ability to go live, until they get the Wi-Fi for that. Also, if someone has a really small following, it's really hard to go live with a small following because you can't get many people in the, in the webinar. So for those instances, it's probably better to automate. Automate the webinar and then slowly trickle in traffic over time as you build up your audience. And once you do have a sizable audience, then go live with that. But uh, short answer is, is both. You want to be able to do both.